70% of infrastructural upgrades under the $1.5 billion Adequate Housing and Urban Accessibility Program has been completed in Sophia. The works include construction of 1,833 meters of asphaltic concrete road, 1,827 meters of reinforced concrete drains, 2,132 meters of sidewalks, 82 culverts, and 804 meters in revetment works. Reginald Mullin, a president of the community for over 20 years, said he appreciates the transformation taking place. When I came in here first, it was mud. Then they came and they do a little thing. But it wasn't, it didn't have no house for it. Was, and then the common the gear got a quick thing. That was a couple of years ago, mostly about 10 years ago. And now they're trying to do something properly, which we appreciate. You understand, the drainage is being done properly. And I think they should do the same thing right away around. Because when you put concrete, it holds the water more properly. With the mud now, it's silt up. Resident and councillor for the area, Clayton Hines, said that while the program is in its first phase, residents are enjoying the benefits. If we can just single out the roads, the roads that, that have been done are being done properly. And as a result of that, but you'll find people can move quicker to go to their place of business, quicker to go to the place of work. In the initial stages, people were unsure what a project the government would have taken in relation to their existence in this block. But from, from 2015 to now, there has been a pronounced level of improvement in not just only drain, in, re, in the drainage facilities that are being addressed, as well as the roads. Other works include the construction of 10 bridges, which are 80% completed, the installation of street lights, construction of two play fields, construction of 100 core homes, and improvement to 300 households by providing 300 subsidies. The program is funded by the Inter-American Development Bank to the tune of $1.5 billion. The first phase will conclude in March 2020. Isaiah Braffitt, Foreign Info Hub.